So we saw in a recent video how to use the UV package in Python, and we used that to manage a project and manage its dependencies, and we can also use it to manage scripts as well. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to take the application that we built in the previous video, and that was this super simple fast API application with a single endpoint, and we're gonna containerize that using Docker, and we're gonna use UV within the Docker container to install dependencies and to manage the project. So we're gonna see an integration of UV and FastAPI along with Docker in this video. Now you can see at the moment that we have our application that's in a hello.py file. What I'm gonna do is actually change the name of this file and let's call this main.py instead. Now beforehand in the previous video, we were using UV to install dependencies and that was gonna add them to pyproject.toml. And what we could then do is we have the uvicorn application installed. We can run uv run uvicorn and that will invoke the server and we can pass a link to our application. For example, it was in the main.py file now and it's the app object. And we can specify a port such as port 8000. And that's gonna start the FastAPI server using Uvicorn on port 8000. What we're going to do now is look at a setup for Docker. So what we're gonna to need to add here is a Docker file to this project. So let's add a new file here and that's gonna be the Docker file. And what we're gonna do is reference the documentation for UV. So let's go back to the browser here. Now we touched upon a number of concepts in the previous video, such as projects, dependencies, and we also looked at workspaces and tools and Python versions. UV can manage Python versions in different environments and on your operating system. So that's super convenient. What we're gonna look at here is some of the integration guides. And specifically, there is one for Docker in general, and we also have one for FastAPI web applications. So I'm gonna click that and we're gonna load this up. Now, if you don't know what FastAPI is, check the previous video, but in a nutshell, what you can do is create Python functions and they represent routes in your application and they can return JSON data, they can return HTML templates, or they could really return any kind of response, including text responses and so on. Now, what we need to really do here is if we stop the server and look at the bottom here, we have this command that we ran and that was uv run uvicorn. We need to get this running in the context of a Docker container that has FastAPI and uvicorn installed. So that's what we want to add to the Docker file, directives to set this up and get it working with FastAPI. Now what we're gonna do is go back to the Astral documentation here. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we have a section on deployment. Now to deploy a fast API application using Docker, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Here is a sample Docker file that we can use and I'm gonna copy this and we are gonna change this slightly in a second. So let me minimize the terminal and paste this in and we're gonna look at the code in this Docker file. So we're starting from a base Python Docker image and that's for Python version 3.12 slim. And then we have a copy statement here and that is going to install UV within the container and it's gonna make UV executable from the command line in the container as well as the UVX command which is used to manage tools. Now once UV is installed here in this image that we're building, what we can then do is copy the contents of our current directory into the slash app directory within the image. So basically we're taking all of the files here and we're copying them into the slash app directory inside this Docker image. And then we set the work directory to that directory where we've copied those contents. And then the command that we have here is the UV sync command. Now we saw that command in the previous video. What that command is basically gonna do is it's gonna look at the uv.loc file and the pyproject.toml file and it's gonna install all of the dependencies in those files. So for example, here we have in pyproject.toml dependencies for FastAPI and Uvicon. And of course, these are packages that themselves have sub-dependencies and that's specified in the uv.loc file. So what that command, the uv sync command that we have here in the Docker file, that's gonna install all of the packages based on those files. And this dash dash frozen flag, I believe what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that the uv.loc file is not changed during this process. So the lock file is frozen and we're syncing and creating an environment using the uv sync command. And then finally, this is the command to run the application at the bottom. Now I'm actually going to change this command so that we are running uvicorn directly. So let's add that in here. So if we look at the first part of this command, what we have is within the app directory, we're looking at the .venv directory that's created by uv. And remember from the previous video, when you create a uv project, as soon as you run uv sync or uv add or any of those commands, it's gonna generate the virtual environments directory, the .venv directory. And within there you have the slash bin directory, and that contains 
any binaries, any executables that you can run. For example, we have Uvicon that has been installed in the environment and we can now run that. And what we need to pass, if you look at the command line at the bottom, is a reference to the application object. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the run command, we don't need that. And I'm going to add that reference in here, so it's in main.py and the Uvicon syntax for this is to separate the file with a colon and then look at the application object in that file. And for the port number, let's just specify port 8000 as before. And the final flag here is the host and we're just going to leave that as it is. So we basically have a Docker file now. I'm going to save this and what we need to do after we have the Docker file is we need to build the Docker image from this set of instructions. And from that image, we can then spin up a container. So how do we build an image with Docker? Well, we can run the docker build command. And in fact, if we go back to the documentation on Astro for fast API integration with UV, we can build the image with a command similar to this. So I'm actually just going to copy that command and let's go back to Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna clear what's here and let's just clear the terminal. Now you need to make sure that you have Docker desktop running if you're on Windows or on a Mac in order for these commands to work. But let's paste the command in, docker build, and we're going to tag the image with this name here, fastapi-app, and we're going to reference the current directory, and that's where it's going to find the Docker file. So let's run this command now, and we're going to see that it's going to build this image, and we're going to resume the video after this image is built. And at that point, we're going to see how we can then take the image and we can spin up a running container. And in fact, while this is building, you can see it's running the UV sync command at the bottom here. So that's going to then take care of generating the virtual environment, and also installing the dependencies into that environment. Now, after that's completed, you should have some output similar to this here. And what you can do then is clear the terminal, and then we can use the docker run command, and that's gonna take a container image, and it's gonna spin up a container from that image. So basically here, if we run the docker images command, we can look for the image with the tag that we had here, and that was fast API dash app. And you can see we have this image now. It's got an ID here and it was created right about one minute ago and we get the size of the image as well, 306 megabytes. So we can then run the docker run command and the image tag is fastapi-app and what we're going to pass here is a port mapping, so the dash p option for the docker run command and we're going to map port 8000 on the host to port 8000 into the container. And we need to do that because inside the container, this fast API application, the Uvicon server at least, is running on port 8000. So with this docker run command, we can run this and we're gonna actually start a container from the image that we have on our system. And you can see that Uvicon is running and we're gonna go to the browser now and we're gonna go to localhost 8000 and hopefully we're going to see the response from this fast API application. So let's do that just now. And you can see here, we're getting the response at localhost 8000. We have the text, hello from FastAPI. Now this is actually being returned as a JSON response. That's probably not what we want for a text response like this. And we're gonna fix this in another video where we add tool management with UV, and we're gonna look at adding some tests using PyTest, and that's gonna fix that problem. But for now, we're getting the response, and this is coming from inside the Docker container. We've started the container based on this Docker file, and all we need to do in the Docker file in order to work with UV, if we look at this command on line four, is get the UV executable into the container using this command that we've just copied from the documentation. And then we can copy our application into the container. And this applies whether it's a fast API or a Flask or a Django application. As soon as it's inside the container, as long as we have a pyproject.toml file, we can run UV sync and that'll apply if we have a uv.log file as well. And this command is then going to install all of the requirements for your project based on what's in those files into the Docker image. And then finally, depending on what you're using to run your server, you can then specify the command as the last directive inside the Docker file. And in this case, we're executing the uvicon command, we're pointing it towards the application object, and we can pass any number of options, for example, the port number, the host, and also things like the number of workers. So that's all I want to show for containerizing a fast API application and managing the dependencies with UV. Very simple to do. We just run UV sync and we have our lock file already in the project, already on source control, and also a pyproject.toml file within the project directory. Now, if we go back to the documentation, we have a number of integration guides. So let's go back to the homepage. And in fact, we have an integration section on the documentation here. We have a general Docker integration guide as well as guides for Jupyter Notebooks, GitHub Actions, GitLab CI CD, 
and for pre-commit hooks. Now, one of the big requests I had was how to use UV within the context of a Django web application. So I'm definitely going to make a video on that soon if anybody is interested. Otherwise, we have one more UV video coming out soon. And we're going to take the Fast API application and we're going to see how we can manage tools such as Rough and PyTest within the context of a UV application using UV and using the pyproject.toml file. And that's one of the nice things about pyproject.toml as an emerging standard in Python. You can actually specify your options for different tools such as Rough, PyTest, MyPy and so on. That can all be done within one file using different sections or tables within the pyproject.toml file. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying this content, we have a coffee page that's linked in the description. And thank you very much to everybody that's contributed and donated so far. It's much appreciated and it's going to help keep this content free on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.